Hey, good morning, everyone. Dennis K here, Belize Islands Real Estate. Hope we're doing well today. I'd like to give a big shout out to Cody, who bought me today's coffee. Really appreciate that. I'm looking forward to jumping on a Zoom call with you here uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. And uh, yes, I do have in the background, uh, my wife is a big Disney fan, and she's collecting these uh, minis. So yes, they are in the background. And uh, just let you know, I love Disney too. And um, like my Starbucks, I appreciate all your support. <laughs> but uh, today, I wanted to talk to you about something because uh, the government of France, who are living currently, just announced that starting this evening, uh, this evening is Thursday, October 29th, that they're going to have another four-week lockdown. Now, this isn't going to be as severe as the one we had in uh, March, April, and May of 2020, uh, but it is going to come with several restrictions. And uh, so right now, I just got back from uh, picking up a few supplies from the wine and whiskey shop and groceries and things like that. Not that we won't be able to get these items uh, in the future, but, you know, I always like to have the uh, pantry well stocked and uh, everything topped off because, you know what, you just never know. And uh, one of the things I learned uh, as I've done my research and lived in different countries around the world is that there is a certain comfort level in knowing that you've done what you could do uh, to mitigate any sort of discomfort or disaster or uh, things out of your control in the future. All right. So, for example, uh, you have some cash on hand, always have some good cash on hand, always have some food in the pantry, um, you know, do things like that. Just common sense stuff. Right. You don't have to become a hoarder or, you know, uh, a doomsday prepper, but just, you know, take reasonable steps to make sure that you and your family are in a good place and that you have options. And one of the reasons when we started looking at moving internationally, one of the things that appealed to us is opening up the realm of options on where to live, how to live, how to fund our lifestyle. And one of the guys that I learned quite a bit from is a guy by the name of Simon Black, not his real name. Let me do a little bit of a share screen here with you and show you his website. His website is Sovereign Man. And uh, so if you just go to SovereignMan.com, but when you start to learn from people like this, you realize that what you've been trained to understand or train how to live, you know, the basic, you know, nine to five job, get your bank account, you know, get your health insurance, your little home, your dog. There, there are other ways to live that opens up not only more opportunities, but also more future security. Uh, for example, having a second passport. If right now you only have a passport in the U.S., you know that that's pretty can get you pretty much anywhere. But uh, what if you could have a second passport, perhaps a Belize passport or a European passport? What that does is open up for you opportunities. Maybe not so much when it comes to travel, right? Because I mean, travel is just one aspect of it. But the opportunities to work, have businesses, do things in other countries. Uh, what about when it comes to banking? You know, if you have all your money right now in a U.S. or Canadian bank, what happens if, you know, and this is not unheard of in history, what happens if those assets are frozen for some reason, right, either by the government or we have a bank failure or something? So would it make sense for you to have money not only in uh, the U.S. or Canada where you might be living right now, but what if you open up an offshore account in uh, the country of Belize, for example, through a bank like Key Bank, or maybe a local Belize dollar account, or if you live in France like we do, uh, why not have a, 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 an account where you keep euros in, right, along with some, some gold and silver and, and other assets like that. So what I like about this is when you read articles uh, such as uh, those that Simon puts out or some of his blog posts, and you start to spend just a few hours, for example, spend uh, two or three hours over the weekend learning about foreign banking. You know, what is offshore banking? How could it benefit you? You know, it's not a scary thing once you get to know it. A residency and second citizenship. You know, spend uh, three or four hours next weekend researching different countries, uh, different ways you can get residency or second citizenship. Uh, asset pr protection and estate planning. You know, that's very, very important, especially for you Americans, uh, for us Americans, because, um, you know, we live in a very litigious society and there's always somebody after our money, especially the more money we make and the more things we own, there's more people that want our things. And so they're going to look for even frivolous reasons to get it. So how do you set yourself up to protect your assets? Also, tax mitigation. You know, what are the actual laws, uh, the U.S. and Canadian laws on uh, expats living abroad? Uh, what are you obligated to pay and how can you set yourself up to legally 
pay the least amount in taxes, right? Not breaking any laws, but going right to the uh, to the letter of the law. How can you set yourself up? International investing. You know, this is a great one. A lot of you uh, might be putting your money into the U.S., into stock markets, bonds, mutual funds, uh, maybe even uh, real estate in the United States. But, you know, spend three or four hours this weekend looking at how to invest internationally and see if that makes sense for you. So all this to say is that there are different ways of looking at life. And this reminds me of something that I learned uh, several years ago. Uh, well, let's just go through this real quick. Um, a few examples of what um, Simon teaches here, how to cut your capital gains tax to zero, uh, the best countries and banks to open up an offshore account, the four ways to get a valuable second passport, um, never lose an online password again. I guess that's that's pretty important. Um, let's see here. Simple structures you can create to save more for retirement and supplement your 401k and pensions. Best ways to protect your assets, a litigious society, and much, much more. All right. So I have no affiliation at all uh, with Sovereign Man or Simon Black, but I've learned a lot from people like him, and I suggest that you do too. All right. So uh, what I want to talk about today is Belize as an opportunity for you to to plant another flag or to have a, another option, a plan B. And there's a lot of things that you can't control. I can't control the shutdown that's happened tonight in France, right? You can't control what's going on in the United States right now. You can't control uh, what's going to happen in five years. But what you can do is you can set up certain what we call like insurance policies in place. Uh, to mitigate against some sort of event happening that could have a negative impact on you and your family. And so that's why, you know, I recommend, even if you're not planning on moving to Belize in the near future, or if your plans are, are somewhat, you know, you know, 10, 15, 20 years down the line, why not put yourself in a position now to have a plan, plan B in case something happens. So go ahead, buy a piece of property in Belize, even if you don't know what you're going to do with it, right? It's cheap enough, guys. I mean, you, you see the kind of stuff I'm selling here. It's You can get some stuff as low as $40,000, $45,000, all right? And some of that even comes with financing. Uh, just pick up a piece of property. With that piece of property, then, you know, open up a bank account, offshore bank account or a local Belize bank account. Uh, work toward getting yourself a uh, residency. If you move down there, uh, work at getting that second passport, right? There's different things you can do today to set yourself up for the future. Uh, so you have more of a sense of security. And with that comes a, um, a certain peace of mind, right? A certain peace of mind. So this shutdown is not going to do anything to Steph and I. We are, you know, um, we're self-sufficient, you know, we have ourselves set up. So where some people are going to be negatively impacted by this, our life isn't going to change much. Uh, but it's because of the decisions we made and the training we've done and learning we've done over the years. And we haven't done everything right. Just let me tell you, there's there's been years that I probably paid way too much in taxes because I didn't get the right advice. You know, there, there's things that I wish I would have done differently with regards to my real estate investments in the past. For one, I wish I would have bought more. Um, no, I can say that now, but it, it, back then I probably didn't have the funds to buy more, but I wish I would have figured out how to get the funds to buy more, either by doing joint partnerships with different uh, clients. Uh, for example, right now, uh, we're looking at doing a joint uh, partnership with a couple of our, our really good clients who have buying have been buying and investing property on Ambergris Key. Uh, so that's an option, right? So it might be for you that you could say, you know what, I, I want to get property but I don't have the money right now to invest, right? Okay, well, look for a partner. It could be a family member, a coworker, a friend, you know, uh, put out the word there. You know, put, put the word out on your social media, but you know, put it out on Facebook or something. Say, you know what? I want to buy property in Belize. I'm looking for a partner. Any of my friends out there want to do it, go in on it with me. And perhaps you just, you know, find a piece of property that you can finance, put a low money down, uh, put 10% down, 15% down, and uh, maybe just structure the deal where you and your friend or you and your uh, family member, you go in on it together. And then at least you have a toehold in the country. You're starting to work toward your plan B. All right, that's my little spiel for today. So hope you are doing well. Again, just for reference, I always do this on my videos, October 29th, Thursday, uh, 2020. So. Thanks a lot, Cody. Appreciate the coffee. If any of you want to jump on a Zoom call with me, hit me up in the link below. Looking forward to chatting with you. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon.